Hi, this is Arlen with today's iPhone tips. Today, let's talk about the phone app. Just launch that right there. And your phone app will launch in the last section that you left it in. So for me, I had it in my contact section. Okay, and contacts works really great to find the people you want to call. Uh, one of the easiest ways to find somebody to call is to search for them. So if you just tap in the bubble at the top and start typing, you can find just the right person you're looking for. Now, if you're using an older version of iPhone software, the search bubble might be hidden, but if you just pull down on this, on the names, the search bubble will pop up at the top there. Okay, if you don't want to search for your contact, but you want to look through your names, you can just drag the names up and down. Or if you want a faster way to glide through your address book, Glide your finger down the right-hand side where the letters are, and you'll jump from letter to letter as you search for that person you're trying to contact. Okay. Another fast way to call somebody is to add them to your favorites list. Now, you can see I don't have any favorites right now. So I could tap the plus button, and I could add one of my contacts as a favorite just with a few taps or if I was just looking at my contacts here I can tap add to favorites right there and add them as a voice call and the little star there tells me that it's been added to my favorites so now when I go to favorites I've got a couple of them right there you can tap edit and these three bars here you can hold there and drag them up and down to sort that list the minus will delete it if you choose to or you can just click done okay if I jump over to the keypad here you can of course dial numbers but uh, maybe you didn't realize that if you hit the call button you will actually call the last number that was dialed in for me that's 611. So that's a quick redial to redial the last number that you called. Okay, now let me show you what happens when someone calls you. All right, I'm being called by my other number, and I have three options. I could answer, decline it, or I have this handset here. If I slide that up, I can reply with a message or remind me that somebody called later. Let's tap the first one. Okay, so I've set up a couple of custom messages. Um, I'm often in meetings, so if I just tap this first message, it'll send the person who called me a text message saying, hey, I'm in a meeting, I, I, can't, I can't take your call. And it's easy as that. The person who just called me knows that I wanted to take their call, but I just wasn't able at, at this time. Okay, let's see what happens when I get a call and I, I wanna use another option. Okay, decline will just send them to voicemail. Of course, answer, you can answer the call. But if I slide this up again, let me tap remind me later. Okay. So now I've got some options. I can remind myself in one hour that this person called. So I can remember to call them back. I can remind myself when I leave. So if you have location services on, your iPhone will know where you are. And so when you leave the area where you're currently at, it will give you a reminder. Okay, you can tell your iPhone to remind you when you get to work. Say you weren't quite at the office yet, but you want to return that phone call when you get to work or maybe when you get to get home. 
I'm going to choose when I leave here. Okay, those are a few tips on using the phone app. If you have any questions, please leave them on my blog, and I will respond to those and get right back to you. Okay, aloha for now.